Hey guys, it's Michael and I have a different type of video for you today. I'm just testing out the new app called Hyperlapse that's made by Instagram and they decided to build it as like a standalone product and I think that was amazing because I don't really use Instagram all that much but I'm definitely going to be using this app. Basically it's just a time-lapse app that simplifies making time-lapse videos. You open the app, you push the button to start the video, then when you're done, you push it to stop the video and you move a slider to decide if you want to do like one times normal speed or 12 times normal speed and then you push a check mark and it saves your video for you and you're done. So there's a couple clips in here of things that I did. I'm actually going camping this weekend so I wanted to see if my tent still worked that I haven't set up in about 10 years and uh, it actually does. I figured out how to set the tent up after some fumbling in the beginning and the app worked amazing. It's super smooth. It's uh, clear. I thought it might like degrade the quality or it give you the Instagram like square box, but it doesn't. It actually makes it a regular video, so you can you 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 can use this app for things other than Instagram. And I think that's why they decided to make it a standalone product. And it's just super simple to use. Uh, after I finished the tent here, I went on a bike ride, as you can see, and I don't have a fancy mount to set up for my bike. I basically took some rubber bands and I rubber banded my phone to the front reflector and got my phone all scratched up because it was bouncing the whole time. But as you can tell, the video is actually really, really smooth. And the only dizzying part is right there. Uh, it's because I'm at 12 times speed, so going 12 times this speed, yes, it is going to be dizzying on the curves. But for the long stretches like this, it actually looks really, really good. Uh, I'm definitely going to be using this app in the future. And yeah, uh, stay tuned because I may put out a video sometime after I get back from my camping trip. I don't know if I'm actually going to film out there because it uses a lot of my uh, phone battery to keep the camera open all the time. But I'll figure something out. Anyway, I'll leave you guys with the rest of the video and I'll see you in the next one.